Okay, since there's not a lot of room here, I'll take this new one apart and we'll install it in pieces. As you can see, I'm kind of cheating, just setting the axle aside and it doesn't leave you a lot of room to get in there. So we'll be uh, taking that piece apart. The, uh, the old versus the new, the only difference is a little bit in the casting. Shaft so far, everything looks, looks great. So this should work. Okay, as you can see, our axle's still there. We put the first part of the assembly in, I put the shaft in, and then I've put the final part in. This also gives you a good opportunity to add a little extra grease in there for later on. Uh, as you can see, it's all up in there. Just gotta get it tightened up and uh, finish reinstalling everything. And then we can test it and hopefully have all well drive. As you can see we've got the electronic actuator put back on. Everything's back together. And as of right now, four wheel drive is engaged, just like it should be, as the actuator was in four wheel drive position. So we'll get it on together and see if uh, the all wheel drive actually locks in and out like it should.